welcome to today's video today we are going to see how can we determine a isoelectric ph or molecular weight just by using the protein sequence okay it would be very very useful for different kinds of researchers when you know a protein sequence and get its isoelectric ph and molecular weight without even doing any experiment okay so today by using bioinformatical method we are going to determine the molecular weight and the isoelectric pH of a protein called as myoglobin. Okay. So, first of all, let's search what is the isoelectric pH of human myoglobin. Okay. So, the isoelectric pH closely comes out. Uh, I have searched it on Google and the isoelectric pH closely com comes out from 6.7 to 6.9. Okay. So, I'll close this window now and I'll search the molecular weight of human myoglobin. Molecular weight of human myoglobin, okay. So, it comes out approximately to be 17,000 kilodalton, okay. I have noted the both the results that I have searched on the Google, okay. Now, I will download the protein sequence for myoglobin from the NCBIS database and then I will be trying to get the um, a molecular weight and isoelectric pH just by using the protein sequence using a software from the XPASI web tool. Okay, so for that purpose, I have already told you the uh, molecular weight and isoelectric pH that is uh, 6.7 to 6.9, that is the isoelectric pH uh, uh, is between this uh, for myoglobin, human myoglobin, and then the molecular weight is 70 kilodaltons for human myoglobin. Okay. So, first of all, let's open a new tab and go to the NCBI's website www.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. Okay. So, we have opened this website now. So, you can see in that uh, all database section, I am selecting the proteins there. Okay. Since I am going to uh, work on a protein sequence, I have selected protein and I am putting in the search bar human myo. human myoglobin okay so naturally it will give me lots of results you can see lots of results are there the first protein is myoglobin from homo sapiens the first result itself is a 154 amino acid protein the myoglobin is a 154 amino acid protein i'll open this and i'll open this first of all the uh, sequence open uh, opens up like this you can see the different uh, you know information regarding the human myoglobin I'll open the proteinic sequence in FASTA format. Okay. So now this uh, sequence has been has been loaded into the FASTA format. You can see here. Okay. So I have to copy this whole sequence. Okay. I'll copy this whole sequence. Okay. I have copied this whole sequence. Then I am going to put www.expasy.org. Okay. I'm going to put expasy.org. Okay. This URL you have to put. Okay, you this URL takes you to the Expasi Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics web server. Okay, on this web server, this is a web server that is uh, hosted by Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. You get lots of uh, resources here. Okay, so scroll down, scroll down. You have to go down and search for compute PIMW. Okay, the so, uh, symbol for isoelectric pH is PI and MW is for molecular weight. Okay. So, just keep scrolling down and find out compute PIMW resource. Okay. So, when I'm going down, I'm searching for compute PIMW. I get it here. Isoelectric point and molecular weight for proteins from protein sequences. Okay. So, this uh, resource you have to use. You have to open this resource and then it says compute PIMW you have to click on browse the resource website okay so when you click on that a, a site opens up here like this okay in this site there is a blank box where you have to paste the sequence that you have copied from ncbi okay so starting from the uh, less than sign till the last amino acid sequence i have copied the sequence i have pasted the sequence here in this box okay and i have clicked on compute click here to compute PIMW okay so when I click I get a result here okay so a whole sequence result is there this is a theoretical PI and MW this is theoretical isoelectric pH and molecular weight that we can directly 
calculate from the molecular sequence of that protein. Okay, so it comes out to be 6.76, and the molecular weight given here is 17,184.79 daltons. That is obviously 17,000 kilo daltons. Okay, approximately uh, this is uh, accurately calculated here. You can see the isoelectric pH comes out to be 6.76, which we have already searched on Google earlier at the starting of this video. Okay, so this is how students you can calculate the molecular weight as well as isoelectric pH of any protein if you are having the protein sequence of that protein. Okay, so as a bioinformatics researcher, this resource helps a lot in determining these uh, important characters of a protein sequence. Okay, so I hope you have understood how to compute the pi and molecular weight of a protein sequence just by using the protein sequence that we get from different database. Okay. Here we have downloaded the sequence from NCBI's database. You can download the sequence from Swissprot or any other protein sequence database. Okay. Thank you so much for joining for today's video.